Watch a nice bit of racing with Ruby Walsh. We got the tea ready, Rube? Yeah, yeah. Tea, Johnny. One sugar, yeah? Yeah, one sugar, that's good. Not so bad, no milk. No milk, you know. Right. HRI have asked us to nominate a few rides each for the 2018 Ride of the Year. I could have picked a dozen. Patrick Mullins and Undersaw, Katie and Ante, no Ophelia Monali, but I only had three choices. I'm set, are you? I'm ready. A lot of flat lads done rode really well this year, so I've picked out three of my best. I'm sure, you know, top rides by top jockeys. Right, there's no preference in this. Uh, the rides are whatever way they are, but like most things in Irish racing, the flat's up first. Oh, well, naturally. First ride is uh, Colin Keane, Tennessee Wildcat, Tipperary. Two things about this. He's a horse that's very hard to catch right. You don't hit the front too soon and you can't use the whip on him. So, like, um, you know, It's easy in theory, isn't it? It's very easy in theory, but uh, you can see him here. He's in uh, Sean Jones' colours, following Decky McDonough. Yeah, Dunnick is just in front of him. Turns into a bit of a sprint down the straight, but he's travelling really, really comfortable. And he just has his horse in a great rhythm. And when he eases him out here, Listen, what's the temptation? Oh, but sure, the temptation now is to go, you're going by the two, to go and join Decky. He doesn't want to be in front too soon, so he has to stay a length behind him. And now he's one, has he got enough of time? But, hands and heels, strong, very, very strong. He's rolling him around there, he's doing a few different things, and just to get the horse going, now he has him in full flight. But what, You'd have what's to hit, the temptation? You have to hit him. <laughs> Give him one, go on, just to get that. But he didn't, he didn't. And don't hit the front too soon, boom. On the line. He's, he, he's, he's a champion jockey, and that's what to do. That's what we expect from him. Right, Johnny, my first is Derek O'Connor and Ed Wolf in the Irish Gold Cup. Like, we're coming away from the last day cheer. He's in the red cap on the outside. He'd been last all the way down the back on him. He'd 10 runs over fences. He's only completed in five. He nearly died in Cheltenham. Derek's an amateur. This is the feature race at the Dublin Racing Festival. You see our Duke missing there and Annabelle Fly falling. But look, he's tucked his horse back in here on the bridle. He's, Paul Town and Mark is his biggest danger in front of him on Kilolta Vic. But this is, you know, he's a horse with a bit of a reputation and the timing is majestic. And he's an amateur riding against this race. Is, was that why he rode in this race? Other people didn't want to ride him or is it no, just the No, i just the relationship he had with the horse. He's an amateur by name, that's all, by title. There's nothing amateur about this. Claude de Vic misses, tips up. Ooh. Now it looks like Outlander's race. Jack and Am is staying on again. Again, Patrick Mullins riding him. But Derek, one smack in his right hand. You know, he's rowing, he's in full tilt. Switches it over into his left. And the last 100 yards, he delivers Ed Wolf right on the line. Um, you know, any professional would think this was outstanding. But this was Derek O'Connor. Grade one race. I don't think he had that many ch chances in a grade one before. And to deliver that. As I said, any pressure would have thought it was majestic. On the big day? Yeah, but it all counts. Next up for me, Ruby, Panstar, Kevin Manning, trained by Jim Bulger in the, in the blue colours. Listole, big field for a listed race in Listole. Manning was very determined to jump out, to be very aggressive from the gates. And you can see here, you know, we have four furlongs out in Listole on soft ground, flat horses. Everything else is be behind is struggling. They're going a right gallop. And it's here, the horse that is upside him in front, they're dying away before the tree marker. So I think it took a lot of guts yeah. and a lot of determination to jump out to get that position. And from the turn in here, like it's, 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 it's a right battle right up to the line. If you're watching this live, you're looking for something behind that's going to come and do him. Because you're, you're thinking, this horse in front is not going to keep at it. Yeah, and listen, Kevin Manning, he's one of the, you know, the, the, the senior riders. But there's no one better in the finish, no one stronger on the, on the bulger horses. They're so hard to pass. You know, you, you, I often got to them myself, you think you're going to win a neck, they just keep going, they just keep going, head down, stick in his right hand. Wayne Lorden comes to him there, looking like he's going to get him, but again, you know, never gives up. I thought it was a great ride. I thought, you know, the bravery he showed early in the race and the strength he showed late. It's a commitment for Morgan. Right then, two for me is Davy Russell and Apple Shade uh, last Christmas in Leperstown. Three mile grade one hurdle, Puppy Powers in front on Super Sunday. Apple Shade was a spare ride for Davy um, on the day. So Davy lands over the second last. You can see his left hand there where he pulls it back. It's so enticing in Leperstown when you ping the second last to yeah. just flow to the bend and keep going. But Davy resists the temptation, pulls back on the Puppy's guards. Now Puppy's brilliant as well. He wants to battle and he wants to test and he's trying to draw Davy with him. Um, you know, Davy's wanting to cover Puppy and not commit, and he does it all the way up to the last hurdle. Now is when he starts to ask her for an effort. effort. Puppy is post the length on Super Sunday, and now Davy's going to need all his power to get him back. He looked like beaten here. He to does me, look To me, he looked beaten here, and as I said, Puppy was strong there on the one in front, but... It's just the last 
50 yards, he gets this mare running. He's in perfect rhythm, he's dead strong, he's using his whip as sparingly as he can, but as much as he needed, yeah. and he lands her on the line. I thought it was a terrific ride to watch on the day. I thought the runner-up got a great ride, but I thought Davey was brilliant. Third up for me, Ruby, Rinty McGinty, ridden by Danny Sheehy, the nursery in Galway. Always a very, very competitive race, big prize money, small field this year. But you know Galway, they went slow, top of the hill. Look at them, <laughs> seven you? runners, there's nowhere to go, it's very, very tight, and it turned into a bit of a sprint, which is a bit of a nightmare. Turning into Galway, no room, nowhere to go, he's on the stripes on the inside. You know, locked up, locked up, locked up. A young lad. Yeah. A young lad. You know, he could have very easily there lost the plot, barged his way out, but no, no. Patient, waited. Billy yeah. Lee's in front. There's the gap. There's the gap. You know, he could have he could have very easily bumped everybody out of the way. It's very tight there at the moment. Yeah. Very tight. Great finish. And just on the line. Boom. From Kevin Manning to one of the young up-and-coming stars. I thought it was it was a great ride. It was a great race. I think the handicapper will be absolutely delighted. But to do that without breaking the rules. Who have we got next, Ruby? My last choice is Paul Townend on Prava Laguna in the white sleeves in behind, on the inside. Um, he's in a bit of a pocket here. Uh, Jack Kennedy, puppies in front. Jack Kennedy in the blue cap, I think. Uh, good time Tara coming around there. Paul is waiting for the gaps. He's exuding, he's showing plenty of confidence. Gap slightly opens here. Here he opens and he's gone into it in two strikes. Yeah, but sure, he was travelling very well there, Ruby. You know, like, is it... Did he, did he do... Like, he's going really well there. <laughs> it's not this ride. It's what preceded this raid. I mean, 22 hours previously on album photo, Paul had run out. He had, I suppose to put it in other terms, he hadn't just missed the penalty, he'd managed to kick the penalty back into his own goal. He was public enemy number one leaving the race course. Uh, the whole world wanted him, racing world wanted him lynched. He went home, I'm sure, he, I don't know how he felt, but I can't imagine how he felt. But to pick himself up in less than 24 hours, walk back into Punchestown and ride that mare with the confidence he rode her, not every human being can do no, that. No, Not everybody has no. that mental strength and that ability to deliver. Um, you know, it's 95% perspiration, 5% inspiration. But mentally, that was, I think that was just resilience. Not bad. Six great rides. Now it's up to you to vote. And the winner will be revealed at the HRI Awards on the 4th of December. Best of luck to those involved.